the house of God uh -huh. Hell for your own soul's sake See, that's why the Bible is redundant The Lord says things over and over Because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people Crazy. Calm down and listen to one another And more importantly, listen to this fight right? That's the gospel. Deliver the captive. Give me Jeremiah 2.14. You can get that. Name. Give me uh, Jeremiah 2.14. Turkey back on that beat. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is Israel a servant? Read. Is he a homeborn slave? Are y'all homeborn, homeborn slaves? Read. Why is he spoiled? How, why are our people so spoiled? Why are we spoiled through these uh, philosophies, these Christian churches? The, the, the white man's science. Why are we so spoiled and fascinated by the things that we see? Read it again from the beginning. Is Israel a home, excuse me, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? It says, so why is Israel such a servant? We are servants, but not to the other nations. We're supposed to be servants to the Most High God. Give me Leviticus 25, 55. We're supposed to be servants to the Most High God. The other nations, they're supposed to be our servants. Okay? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25 and verse 55. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. No, the children of Edom. The children of Israel are servants. No, the children of Moab. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. Y'all hear that? Unto the Most High God, the children of Israel, we are his servants. Read on. They are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God. You see that? He, he's the Lord, our God, the same God that delivered us from Egypt. In the, in the time of the, uh, the Egyptian captivity. That same God, he's going to be the same God to deliver us here from America. That's right. Okay? When the nukes and those bombs start to drop. Good. The same God. We are so, so up until that time, until Christ return, or until you die and, and go in the dirt, you're supposed to be serving God. Good. All right? So let's talk about how do we serve God. Sis, do you know, sis, do you know how to serve God? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Step up under the tabernacle. Step up under the tent. All right, read, read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, and verse 14. Bring it out. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Listen to this, bro. So it says, the day cometh when it shall no more be said, uh, the Lord, read it again. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So it's not going to no more be said. Y'all remember the time when um, those Israelites were delivered from Egypt? Nobody's going to be talking about that no more. That's going to be old news. That, that's going to be old history. The, the new thing on the earth, the new talk in the town is going to be what? But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel uh -huh. from the land of the north. That's going to be the new, the new talk in the town. The, Lord, the children of Israel being delivered from America, the land of the north. That's right. North America. That's right. 
Okay, that's where we're going to be delivered from if we keep these commandments. Come back to who we are. Stop being a homeborn slave. Learn these commandments. Come back to who you are. All right. So let me ask y'all a question. Uh, we're gonna deal with dietary law because we gotta get our we gotta get our health right. Right? Do you eat crab, shrimp, or lobster? Any of that? You like crabs? You ain't ha I ain't let them. Okay. Ho hopefully you won't have no more after this scripture that's about to come out. What about you? Not I have eaten it before, but not necessarily. No. But not necessarily. I don't care for it. But if somebody gave it to you, are you going to say no thank you? Yes, I am. All right, what about pig? I do eat little pig. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's, kill, let's kill two birds one stone. Three. The book, of, the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divideth the hoof, and be cloven footed. So we all know what a swine is, right? Talking about the pig. Talking about the fat back, talking about the uh, bacon, read. Yet he chewed not the cud. He is unclean to you. Nah, he good to eat. He is unclean to you. You hear that? Servant of God. Bring he said, the, the swine is unclean to you. Right. You're not supposed to eat it. Don't right. put it in your body. Bring it out. Huh? It, it's a what? Scavenger. It's a scavenger, right. Of the, of the farm, right? It eats anything. It, eat, it will even eat its own babies right. if, if it died right in front of them. Yeah, right. they they got the, the uh, human garbage. I mean, the, the garbage disposal of the earth. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. It said, don't eat nothing of their flesh. Read. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Don't even touch their dead carcass. All right. Jump to verse nine. We're going to deal with the, the the things in the sea. Verse nine. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales. So these are the things. He's given us the laws of the things that we shall should eat. The things in the rivers and the streams, right? Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters and the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So it gave you two components or two attributes of what you can eat. What, what were those two things? See if y'all was listening. No, what, so what two things must that fish have? Oh, fins and scales. Fins and scales, right? Uh, does the catfish have fins and scales? Catfish? I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, it, it, it has fins, but it doesn't have scales, right? It's, it's, it's smooth. It, so you can't eat that, right? So you say no to the catfish. Does, does shrimp and lobster, do they have fins and scales? No. No. They don't. So they you, huh? Yeah, they, they're the bottom feeders of the ocean. All right? They're, they're the Lord's sanitation system. But y'all want to eat the filth. Y'all want to eat the filth of the, um, of the bottom, of the ocean. Read on. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters they shall be an abomination unto you. See that? It, God calls it an abomination. That's why he said don't eat it. Because God made all creatures. All creatures are good, but they all serve their own uh, purpose, right? Right. All things are good, but he tells you what's to be eaten and, what, and the things not to be eaten. Right. All right, give me Sirach 38 and 15. Bring it out. Listen to this. Because these laws is not, these laws are not suggestions. These laws are how to govern your life, how to uh, keep you in good health, how to keep you in good spirit. Because um, because little do you know, the food that you eat, it plays it play, plays on your spiritual, on your mind. All right? Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 15. He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall to the hand of the physician. See that? So he that sinneth before his maker, what is sin? Disobedience, what is sin? Just bad. Bad according to what? All right, let's let's get let's get the definition according to the Bible. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. 
Download the app today. Shalom. The book of John, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For this sin is the transgression of the law. So what is sin? How you doing, Sam? Four charges, and and two of them is not in the um, on case search. But I want to know how they still working when she took a gun and badge off and went to court. So you got you got to take that up with the law. Uh, give me uh, Romans thirteen and one. So explain that again. Explain the situation. Okay. One of them, one of them was that uh, see these cops. This house I used to be in. I used to mess with this old man, Albert Brown. And his son. Are you married to him? No. Okay. His son entertained police officers in the basement. They his family members. They robbed the niggas on Rice Town Road, on, on Pemmy Go Road, and then they was mad at me because Al loved me, and they were stealing from me, and whatever. It's a, it's a lot. And when I was over by Food City Market, across the street, Al's bar, she came. They ride. They don't ride their cars. They ride the breakdown bikes. She came over on her bike. And she told me, she said, put y'all get up the corner. So I'm getting ready to leave, talk to my baby father. She shoved me in the back. And I said, bitch, I know you ain't shoving my back. I said, I tell you what, take that gun and badge off, whoop your ass. She took the gun and badge off and sat on top of somebody's car. I three-pieced them, stole the gun, and I run down Paul Kites with the gun in my hand like this, say, I surrender. By the time I get down to my mother's house, a couple blocks down, here come the police. I said, no, you can't come here, it's prop, prop. But this is my question, how she know where I live at? All right, I got a question for you. Ain't that right, man? You stole the gun. It sound like you, you took it off. Sis. So you took it. Sis. Yeah. So it sounds like you involved in a lot of foolishness. Let's see what the Bible says about that. What is got Exodus 22? Got the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You hear that, sis? What did the Bible say? Read it again. Listen. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. It says you should not follow a multitude to do evil. You talking about guns and people robbing and all types of stuff? What are you involved in? No, I'm not the robber. I said the police were I know, doing. but how do you know people like that? Because I mess with the grandfather. You mess with the grandfather? Are you are you married to the grandfather? No, I don't know longer mess with him. Because right, every, every time I went to go see him, his son kept calling him for roll-off. So I stopped him on the scene. Right, I don't know. It's a whole family of cops. They work at Northwestern District. They ain't brand. Right. Well, we're going we're gonna to help you out, sis. We're going to help you out. Because here's the thing. A lot of our people deal with these things. And we don't know why we're in them situations. Give me Titus chapter 2. We're going to help you out, sis. We're out here to help our people. And, and another one. His, his grandson, Eric Brown, me and Al, the grandfather, was distributing. He come running there with a technology. Right, but. You touch my grandfather, blow your head off. But up. look, sis. But here's the thing, though, sis. We, we got to leave that alone, sis. Right. This, this, like. The gangster grandmother and all that, you let's let's get what you should be according to God. Because right. if you want to get out, sis, listen, 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 sis, sis, listen, listen. If you want to get out of that trouble, sis, you gotta humble down and you gotta conform yourself. Cause you don't want to be you up in age, you caught up in that kind of stuff, sis. That that sound like a, a a rap lyric song. Come on, watch this. The book of Titus, chapter two and verse three. The aged women likewise that they behave, excuse me, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So the first thing, you are aid sister says, you gotta become a behavior as holiness, meaning you gotta separate yourself from what society deems as normal. Society I says, it's, but listen, sis, I no. Got sis, I, I understand, that's one that aspect. One. That's one aspect, but you gotta, you gotta dress modestly. Your behavior has to be reflective of what the Bible says. That's what we're gonna teach you, sis. Oh, oh I haven't put my hands on nobody. But sis, but, but sis, listen though, sis. The thing is that we might, like, you know, we like to laugh and joke and all that, but understand the destruction that's coming to this earth for our disobedience. Like, you think about it. You think we was laughing, where the slave ships at? You think we was laughing and joking when you was on the, say this you right here, sis. This you on the bottom deck. When somebody got a pee or somebody on their menstrual, where is that coming? Right. And who, is it, who would it be landing on? Right. So do you think that we was hee ha ha in that? But, but I'm saying the reason why we went into that is because we did not want to keep the commandments of God. Right. We always wonder, well, why did we go into slavery? Right. We went into slavery because we didn't want to do what our father oh, of the Bible told us. Says, listen, says. 
Sis, that's everybody, that's gotta, everybody got a everybody got an extended right. period. Everybody got an extended period of mercy. But guess what? What is the point of when you get a grace period? Do you own a cell phone? Yeah. When you when you don't pay your bill, what do they give you? A notice. No, but I'm saying you get they give they give you a grace period, a right? Grace period. So when you don't pay that phone after that grace period, what happens to the phone? So the Lord is giving everybody a measure of mercy and grace. So I, the, we I don't want to push the boundary. On me I okay, died sis, five let's times. Read that. I got five times. But, but, they, they, listen, listen, this, sis. We got you. That the, excuse me. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Right. So, Miss, what's, what, what do you want? I'm Matthew, Tabby. So, Miss Tabby, the Bible says you got to be in behavior as becometh holiness. Come on. Not false accusers. So the first thing the Bible identifies with our sisters, they they can't be they can't be they can't they can't be gossiping. Come on. Not given to much wine. So our sisters gotta be sober, come on. Teachers of good things. So you gotta teach the good things, come on. That they may teach the young women to be sober. So you gotta teach the young women to be sober, come on. To love their husbands. To love, in order to love your husband, you gotta have one, but our sisters gotta be taught. And that's what the aged women are supposed to do, come on. Right. To love their children, uh -huh. to be discreet. Meaning what, discreet meaning you gotta have a level of wisdom how you uh, conduct yourself. Being not. discreet I'm ain't, right ain't rumbling with a police officer on the street, says that's not discretion, come on. Right. Chase, keepers at home, Come on. good. Obedient to their own husbands. Come on. That the word of God be not blasphemed. So anything outside of that conduct of behavior according to God is blasphemy. Understand that. So we out here for you, Miss Tab. The thing is that if you want to do what the Bible says or continue in your life. Understand that. Yeah, get grace. Let here's go here goes grace. Watch this. The book of Titus, chapter 2, and verse 11. For the grace of God that bring of salvation have appeared to all men. So the grace of God that brings salvation. What is the grace that brought salvation? Jesus the Christ. Because Christ laid himself on the cross and died for sins that you couldn't repent for under Moses. That's the whole point. But guess what? All grace period has a, a time stamp on it. Says, come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. Teaching us that what? Denying ungodliness. Meaning things that go contrary to the Bible. For one that goes contrary to the Bible is women wearing leggings out in public. Right. That's First Timothy 2. Talking about women got to be in modest apparel. Come on. And worldly lust. Worldly lust. Going after the blonde of the head. That's a worldly lust. That's the fashion that the white man put out there for our sisters. Come on. We should live soberly. We should do what? Live soberly. Come on. Righteously and godly in this present world. Well, no, that's the old time in the Bible. In this present world. You see that the Bible says we got to live these things in this present world. Understand what's going on. You see you see the madness on our people. Grandmother out there rumbling. That thing sound like an uh, episode on Grand Theft Auto. Right, right. Like a mission on Grand Theft Auto. You got to fight the cops, beat up, take a gun, run down the street. So what the hell is that? That's a grandmother doing those things. That's what's in our community. And somebody has to stand up and say, sis, it's a better way. Bring it out. It's a better way. Humble down to the words of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.